Hey bosses, it's Nina. So Think Ithic just released a new feature and um, it's basically, and actually I think it's up here, changes, it's called course templates and so, and it looks like it's not coming up. So um, Think Ithic allows you to create these courses in your school. Actually, let me stop, set back. I'm gonna pull this over here. So I have an online school called Learned It Online. The platform or LMS, um, which is an LMS start, stands for learning management system. The no learning management system that I'm using to host all my courses is called Think Ethic. And so you'll look, and this is the school page. Basically the entire school is called Learned It Online. Here's all the courses, there's dashboards, um, and you could submit a course request to me. Um, but I have a program called um, Pink Boss Academy. So that's up here. And so this is the landing page for a um, course bundle. So that means it's um, multiple courses and I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here. You'll see that I have multiple courses. Now I click on view all courses. It's basically, I take a bunch of courses, put it in one bundle and then um, I can make it a membership. You can also do this with two or three courses and make it a one-time purchase, whatever it is that you need to do. But basically, um, I'm hosting my school on Thinkific. And so um, their landing pages are okay. Um, I chose to use GIFs and different colors and other ways to make my landing page more interesting. Um, but when you get down to it, I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, excuse me, and I'll go to, I don't know, brand identity. So this is actually a landing page for a course. So we have the landing page for the school or the home page, the landing page for a bundle, a bundle of courses um, or a membership. And this is the actual course. And you'll see that there's a curriculum and I've only added basically what's included in the course and then instructor information and reviews, right? But there's a lot more features that you can add. I just add so many courses that I don't really want to go through all that information right now. I'll have somebody go back later and add them. So now what Thinkific has created, now that we've kind of did an overview, is templates. So when I click on create new, there's different templates that are available. So blank template would be starting from scratch and how you we normally do it. Um, and I'll show you that first just so you can see the difference. Here's a different one. You can pre-sell a course, so before, um, you actually release the course or before you even um, record it, you can see if there's interest, there's mini courses, your flag, flagship curriculum, webinar replays, which I'm gonna try tonight, digital downloads, which is basically about downloading like PDFs and different forms and um, things like that, and then membership resource library. So of course, this is just a library or things that you can download, templates and things like that. So I'm gonna start with a blank one and you'll see this is a blank course, right? So this is how we normally would create a course. You start and there's no curriculum, right? Do, do, do. All right, but, and I created some of them using some of these other templates. So I use the flagship template and you'll see that there's certain things and I did nothing but select flagship um, when I first started instead of blank. Um, these are just ones that I did before I created the video. And so you'll see that in each one, each template, it has the instructions on how to use this template. Bravo, Thinkific. I love when people do that, right? And then it has each of the chapters here, and then it has suggested basically items. So um, your videos, your um, text, just different things. So it's giving you kind of your outline. I think that's awesome. I'm gonna show you another one. This is the member membership resource library. And this is just a bunch of downloads. And so you'll notice that they have the videos here, your audio resources, downloadable resources, PDF resources. So this is just a huge library that you would sell. So what I like about these templates is that it's giving you kind of an outline for what you wanna do. So if you've never created an e-course, um, or if you're new to LMS or learning management systems, it gives you kind of, um, and not just that, if you're new to creating curriculum in general, this kind of helps you. 
Um, the second part, and actually what I don't like about this is I wish they would have just given us the ability to create our own templates. Um, as you can see in the blank template, and let me just pull it up so you can see. These are chapters, right? So there's a chapter and then there's content and there's all of these content types. That's fine. I can add these all day and have no problem with it. What kind of needs help is under the page builder, these items are always here, right? And I only use like three of these. So I don't need all of this stuff on my landing pages, right? And it's fine, they allow you to delete it. But my problem is I would like to only include one, two or three, um, like say three of these blocks, um, change kind of the formatting in here and sizes, you know, things that I do each time and then um, be able to use it as a template. How it works now, I would have to copy this course, go back in, change the URL and then do it that way. So not a big deal. It's just, I wish the templates would have been more focused on the page builders over the curriculum, but I think the curriculum feature is a great new feature and it's gonna help a lot of people. If you have any questions, let me know um, in the Pink Boss Academy and on learnedit.online. I actually just released a course. Um, it's a webinar replay of um, how to create an e-course. And so that coupled with this new feature would be great. If you're thinking about trying out Thinkific, they do have some free membership um, options and low cost membership options. I'm going to leave this link that says give 50, get 50 um, below in um, the comments box and just try it out and see if you want to try it for free or if there's new features that you may, that may want, make you want to upgrade. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you like and subscribe. Ciao.